Turn me up, man. Another level in the hype chain unlocked. Why do y'all make these goofy ass names though, bro? I'm about to like start plucking y'all forehead. Like seriously, bro. You you are you the man in your family, bro? And you gotta tell them that one day that you had a Twitch name named Kitties. Ooh, your girl definitely picking you up, bro. <laughs> she definitely picking you up in the bedroom. You ain't even gotta tell us, bro. You ain't even gotta tell. We already know it go crazy in there. Um, chat, but what's the vibes like, dog? What the fuck is the vibes like, man? Like I said, side quest been going crazy. Um, a lot of y'all may have seen, been alerted in the Discord. I put it on a YouTube community page. Another little blind day just dropped. And let me tell y'all something. Ho, 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 let me tell y'all something. The mouthpiece, listen, brother. We on, oh, we on bad, we on Demon Time all summer, chat. I want to add something now where I do, we do like at least a, a dojo e-day a month. That's what I'm thinking. At least, at least one a month is calm. Now, I don't want to be on some, oh, we got four E-Days every fucking week. It's always some new, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's doing too much. I, at that point, I might as well become a whole fucking E-Day host if I start doing fucking four a month every week. Well, you know, one every week. So I want to do like I want to do like one a month and, and really test y'all. Really give y'all a chance to do y'all thing, to run y'all game, to run y'all movie. Because at the end of the day, a lot of times, all this breakdown shit, y'all niggas need to fail. Y'all need to lose. Y'all need to suffer through the fucking, through the terrible skills, bro. I'm still watching the Loud Chris YouTube video. Listen, that, that, that shit damn near gonna have three parts. Brother, I got my mouthpiece against any man on this fucking planet. Like, it, bro, it's not even funny. It, it's not even funny, chat. So let me give y'all, let me give y'all some funny ass weird shit, right? I don't know when the ads gonna run. Oh my god, let me tell you when like the last week in general, the way I've been running my movie, the way I've been on Demon Time is crazy, bro. I just yo funny ass example. I was outside with my homies, right? I had a devious idea, bro. And this is the thing about a mouthpiece and real fucking real mouthpiece chat. You could have a whole conversation, you could be starting a side quest, and you don't even have to say hello. The other person might not even know your name. You just break ice off of pure personality. You know what I'm saying? Running your uckity. Come on, man. Doing my thing. So I'm, I'm, I can't even say anything to everything that happened from this life. But, bro, I did some crazy shit, bro. So why this chick, right? Why, did, why this chick? She was standing next to some dude the whole night. Now, she was pretty to me. Right? She's pretty. Brown skin, John. Had, like, tan and hair. Like, she must have had, like, daughter hair or something. Whatever. She was pretty, right? So I get the most devious idea. I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna say something to her. I don't even give a fuck if that's her nigga. Because a nigga like me, I could look a woman in her eyes and I, I just, the eyes tell you everything, bro. The eyes tell you everything. I'm like, she either, she, like, she look bored with this nigga, bro. She look bored with him. Yo, I snags, I appreciate the Twitch Prime sub. So I'm already in my head, think, I, I peep like the vibe, the body language and all the energy. V Grim, I appreciate the 19 months, baby. Right? I'm like, months to Dalmoon I'm like, she don't look like she really enjoying her night, bro. But a nigga like me, <laughs> having a great time. So I was feeling devious, more devious than usual. Casanova 2, AK with the 12 months. Yo, y'all going fucking crazy with the subs. I'm not even getting a chance to tell the full story. I love y'all, bro. And we're going to shout out the entire chat. So all the followers, everybody that's just a grunt or didn't sub today and still regularly sub, I'm, we're going to get to y'all in a second, right? So I felt devious, chat. You know what I said to her? I said, I said, yo, the funny part is, I told my homie beforehand. He was like, you won't. I saw him guess what the fuck. Niggas say you won't. I just went over there and did it, right? But I was, I was talking on some bitch shit. I see over there with dude. I go in my I'm in my head. I'm like, I'm like, let me see, I'm about to say some crazy shit. I'm like, or some some funny ass shit to really test the waters, right? So I said to her, I said, I said, excuse me, I don't know if you got a boyfriend. Now automatically when I did this, the she like walked or like leaned towards him a little bit. Already, already the body language was like, like oh like off put, right? Even if it wasn't her nigga, it was like some whoa, what's going on type shit, right? So I, you know, I said something like, "Excuse me, I don't know if you got a boyfriend, but if you do, tell him I said he got the prettiest chick in the room." Dog, when she started, she started laughing in this nigga face, bro. Blood, like, listen, like, oh my god, like, I said, yo, even if this was her nigga, bro, 
even if this was her nigga, that's already tough. That all right, nigga might come at come at your girl in front of you. Ah, ah okay, cool. But she laughing at what I said. She like I said, first she tried to be cool. But then the way I said it, how I looked at her when I said it, and what I said, she started laughing and smiling like I was like, oh, that's tough. So chat, I just I let her go, right? Cause I, I'm playing a devious game. I, I made it seem like I was just being harmless. Oh yeah, tell him I said he got the, 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 the whole time he heard me. So I'm I'm really saying it just to be bold, just to act crazy, right? So this the whole thing, chat. Like 20, 30 minutes go by. Guess what? 20, 30 minutes go by. I'm like they they actually move now. And I, and I did as well. I'm talking to a whole nother shorty, my friends, my home. Like it's it's like 20, 30 minutes later, right? In the in the bar or whatever. The way they sitting down now. Well, she's sitting down, he's standing like in front of her. She's sitting down in a chair like this. The chair she's sitting in is facing me. He's facing her. So his back turn his back is turned to me. Dog, do you know I go from a random conversation and turn my head this way and catch her staring at me? <laughs> I said, I said, oh, it's on. Twice, nigga, twice. The first time, I'm like, is that a fluke? I'm like, ain't no way. Then she did it again. I said, oh, my God, it's on. It's on. Oh, oh my God, it's over, nigga. I know what that mean. I'm a slayer, nigga. I recognize go time when I see it. Fuck is they talking about? All right, listen. Damn poor boyfriend. Let me tell you something, bro. If she, she already probably knew she was with a lame ass nigga. But that night, she really found out. Because let me tell y'all something. So if I leave up a hell, we already know what's hitting for. All right, we're going to wait for the ads. We're going to wait for the ads, man. Y'all got to let me know when the ads done. Y'all got to let me know when the ads done. Y'all got to let me know when the ads done. All right. Like I said, bro, I caught her staring at me. So I said, I, I, like, I thought it was on some like, you know, I'm just turning my head and I catch it kind of way. So I think no, no. But then when I caught her the second time, bro, and it was on some like, <laughs> I'm like, I, I listen. I know what it means, sis. I, I'm experienced in this art of nature. I know what it means. You said all you needed to say. It's over. So, <clears throat> not to get too federal. Not to get too federal. Right. Here's Mo. I appreciate the five months. Why am I just scrolling on Instagram? In this this same, I never saw her before. Like I don't go out, I don't go out with my homies like too often, and you know sometimes whatever, right? I never seen her before. Why I randomly see somebody I follow post her? <laughs> The, the nigga, the, the way the stars align. So chat, let me tell you something. Why I see some, I randomly know, post her. I said, and it's somebody whose story I never watch. I, 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 it's, it's, a, it's somebody whose story I never watch. So I knew the universe was trying to throw me the back off the alley, off the backboard. I'm telling y'all, me and God like this when it comes to doms, bro. Me and God like this. I done, God done put me in so many situations to slam dunk the ball. My RNG is crazy, nigga. I got some of the best RNG in this fucking planet. So, Tech, guess what I did? Guess what I did? Nigga, I, I, duh, I had to follow her. And she damn near followed me back immediately. I said... Strike, nigga. Fuck is they talking about? Fuck is they talking about? Shooter, shoot, bro. I, I don't make the rules. I just play the. I just play the game how it's supposed to be played. I don't. I don't make the rules, nigga. I don't make the rules. I just do what I'm supposed to do. I, it, it is what it is, man. It, it just. It somebody got to do it. Like I said, if she ain't never thought her nigga was lame, that was the night she found out. I'm like, bro, y'all got to understand. I'm equipping y'all with deadly skills, right? 
Because a lot of these niggas, bro, they don't give the, they don't give their woman no type of butterflies, no type of thrill, no type of enjoyment of life, no type of like fr- no type of like freedom. Like what wo- women love the feeling of like 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 excitement, fun, like like freedom, like you know what I'm saying? And when you confident, right? When you confident, bro, you got like a boldness to you that make everybody else around you stop being a bitch or stop being as scary or or they feel more confident or whatever the case may be. It's just like people feed off of that shit. So that's why women like confident men because nine times out of ten, they're shy. They're they're scared. That's, you know, they're whatever they are. So then they get what to do and he a certain kind of way and it's like, oh, you know, I, I feed off of him. He makes me feel better. He makes me have fun. He makes me, he takes me out of my shell. Problem with nowadays is a lot of you niggas are the new women. Y'all, y'all will see a bitch walk past it. I was seeing some shit on this about uh, on TikTok earlier. Y'all will see a girl uh, walk past her. Let's say I go to school or something with her, and then text her later like, "Why you ain't walk up to me?" You are a grown ass man asking a woman why she didn't walk up to you. Are you serious? Yo, no, you you weird because you ain't. Y'all know every time y'all do that, when when she when she comes across the guy, a nigga like me, a nigga that that's not just going on past her, I'm gonna look at it and I'm not, I'm gonna show her through my eyes that I know what I'm doing. First of all, that's already level one. Then the conversation going to flow in such a way to where she's like, I've never even been positioned to feel all these kind of emotions throughout a conversation. I, like, how, how did I know I could I could. I could be teased. I could laugh. It could be flirtatious. It could be all the thrills of like a fucking roller coaster, but in a conversation. It, uh, it, like I'm used to dudes just saying, "Um, can I can I get your number? Uh, is is it okay?" And somehow, some way, this dude then turned around where I want to give him mine, or or like we exchange the numbers or whatever. This with the mouthpiece, dude, nigga. Y'all make it easier for us. Now I'm telling them, all them scary ass niggas, man, somebody going to eat. It's going to be you or it's not going to be. So you better decide, bro. That's how I come down to it. How do I stop freezing up before going up to a girl? Bro, I, who cares if you freeze, bro? Did you do it or not? Now, if you froze and you stopped, then you didn't do it, bro. Who gives a fuck? Like, you a bitch. Bro, if you what we say from the last, uh, with the Andrew Tate reaction... Bro, if you want to be a bitch, be a bitch. I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you not to be a bitch because you're not going to stop me from eating. I don't, my this, my life is not impacted by your bad decisions. Maybe being a bitch is good. For, maybe that's good for you. But let me tell you something. It's like a law of life. When you start being a motherfucker that seizes opportunities, that attacks life, that, that, that goes for shit while it's in front of you, it's like the world just keep just keep going in your favor, bro. I, I can't make this up. The world knows bag fumblers. The world knows bullshitters and procrastinators. And when you're a motherfucker that get an opportunity and take advantage of it, it's like life just keep giving you more. People just keep giving you more situations and opportunities just keep coming along your way. I'm telling you, my, my nigga, I'm living proof. And I and I can I can even talk about other people's lives to, that prove this. You gotta you gotta set the rock though. Like you gotta get that shit in motion by yourself. Like you gotta be the type that type of person. Or else when a situation comes, you're never gonna experience. Let me tell y'all something. I, I know a lot of y'all have said something before, but like in chat, like, oh, y'all virgins or y'all lack experience with women and things like that. I, it's so hard for me to explain or share experiences without y'all getting the vibe like, oh, this nigga lying. Because we're so far from each other. And I'm trying to tell y'all. Shit, it's, 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 it's it, 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 like, I'm losing words even trying to explain it now. It's like, okay, you have the average, you have the, you have the dude who, I'm, he might go for one woman here and there, and if we look at him over a course of a month, he might have approached six, six women this month, right? <clears throat> you cannot even, like, the, the lack of experience or the lack of situations that that nigga could compare to a dude who was like this all the time, every day. And it ain't even just about approaching women. I'm telling y'all, your mouthpiece and your game can help you in, in with jobs. It can help you in business, networking. It can help you with making friends and connections. It can help you with selling things. 
it can, the customer service, like you fucking name it, it can help you in any any area of your life, right? So the type of benefits that this person receives, the type of experiences that that person who always is living in that level of charm or charisma or confidence, the average person is blind to. Skrilla K, I appreciate the gift this of. I appreciate you. The average person is so blind to that type of life because what does the average person do? They're sometimey. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They may or may not. Ah. They yo, first of all, when you are a half ass, when you're a bullshitter, you don't your skills don't even pass a certain level because you just don't put the certain amount of work in. You just don't work hard enough. Curly Tao 2, I appreciate the 10 months. Right? But not only that. Not only that, like your skills not gonna be where they should because you don't work, you don't put in the work. But you let's say, let's say chat, I'm a, a car salesman and I go to work seven days a week, every day of the month. And you only go to work four or five days a week. Common sense tells you that I'm gonna see and meet customers that you won't see because you're at home. So I'm and the fact that I'm showing up every day and I'm always the same motherfucker, I'm creating opportunities and, and I'm and I'm capitalizing off of opportunities. I seen her at the grocery store. I seen her at the gym. I seen her at the McDonald's drive thru I seen her at the on, on the fucking on Instagram scrolling. I see like we just using dating advice, but it's like I said, it can travel into networking, it can travel into getting a job, knowing how to talk to people, knowing how to engage with others. This shit travel to anything, bro. Kick the cup twin. I appreciate the five months. B B, y'all going crazy with the subs today. We might hit eight hundred on the quick tip. Vision limited by experience. Like y'all wouldn't even know, y'all wouldn't even know what it's like for a woman's mother to give you her daughter. <laughs> like, like I could sit here and explain. Oh, chat, this happened. Tell these stories. I said this, then this happened. Then after that, I looked at her, threw on my number. Like I could say this, but a nigga might, a nigga literally might listen and only have his regular ass life to compare it to. Cause he ain't putting himself on the front lines like I do every fucking day. He not he he not bold enough to say what I would say. So because he's not bold enough to say what I would say or do what I would do, he's not even going to experience this level this side of life. He's only dealing with the regular reality, being normal. You don't realize, bro. It's a whole other side of people out there, bro. It's a whole other side of women, your boss, or if you become your own boss. Shout out to you. But, bro, it's like, I need y'all to truly understand that just because you choose to be normal does not mean that other people are going to live normal or that, you know, they're not going to receive the benefits of somebody who knows how to capitalize or take advantage of their skills. And these are skills I'm trying to get y'all to work on, skills I'm trying to teach y'all, skills I'm trying to show y'all. And this is how it happens. So we talk about shit that, conversations that y'all have, like, oh, Ty, what do I do if she has a roster? Or, oh, Ty, what if she's texting or talking to other dudes? And I'm like, uh, nigga, let her. We don't even we don't even think the same. I, I'm the kind of nigga, I want her to put me on the roster. I want her I want her to put me at the bottom of the roster. Actually, I want her to doubt me. I want her to say, hey, he's kind of cute, but he's not really tall enough. Not really my type. I want her to do all of that. You know why? Because when she gets hit with the impact of me, it's only going to be surprising to one of us. It's only going to blindside her. Y'all niggas be like, oh, I want her to like me. I want her to, to find me attractive. This is weak, bro. Do you know, fuck being a turd liking you and being attracted to you, my nigga. Do you know what it's like when she admires you? When she looks up to the kind of man that you are? When she... When she Dare I say the R word, chat? Respects you? Because you got a fucking backbone and you stand on your ten toes like a man? Dare I say this shit? Or, or y'all want to continue to be the niggas that, that grovel at begging? That, that want to beg y'all entire lives? That want to live life on your knees? Y'all want to be this kind of man? You in the wrong space, bro. We, we can't relate on any level. We cannot relate on any level, bro. You in the wrong place. The wrong place. So when you wanna when you wanna live life in this world, the world of winning, the world of doing shit that people think about doing, that people desire and dream and write about and imagine, 
when you want to live on this side of the rock, come to the dojo, man. When you be the, if if that's your cup of tea, if you want to be the dude that that fucked this chick, then she had a boyfriend and had a threesome, and then talked to this this bad chick, then this bad chick. You want to be the dude that manifested his entire life. Galaxy Lord 101, I appreciate the four months, right? And I know we about way more than that. When you want to be the motherfucker who manifested his whole entire life, feed his family or her family, you might be a woman listening to this. You want to be a motherfucker that manifested your whole life, feed your family, uh, take care of... He said W ad, W advertisement. I'm chat. I'm literally speaking on my life. This is my life. I live this shit, bro. You, you, can, you can speak well, articulate yourself on many different levels from the trenches... To the fucking uh, uh, a college classroom, of course, with, amongst professors and other educated individuals. Then come to the dojo, because this is how we live. Come on, bro. And if you committed to it, guess what? You're going to see results, bro. Because I live this shit. <laughs> and I love the game. I, listen, I love the game. It's just certain things I don't do no more. There's certain principles I, I live by to not deal with certain circumstances. Such as, I don't really like women with boyfriends. I know I explained that whole story in the beginning of the stream, bro. But listen, <clears throat> I'm from Philly. These niggas would die behind a bitch. And I'm not going to let a nigga kill me behind no bitch. So I, 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 might, I might have to defend myself. So it's a, it's a recipe for disaster if I really think about it. It's a bad situation to be in. I've been in it before. I've never had to fight no no dude over his girl in in that way. But um Malik Wayne 19, I appreciate the 10 months. But I'm smarter than that. But I'm a man of strategy. I, I know better. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these chicks be lying, they be finessing, they be scheming. So it's something I try to stay away from now. You know what I'm saying? I only said that story in the beginning of the stream because she was she was that pretty. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I said what I said. I didn't even try to bag her. I just wanted to say what I wanted to say. It ain't my fault. She started staring at me after that. And then somebody posted her on Instagram. And then I followed her. And then she followed me back. And then none of that is my fault, chat. <laughs> I'm trying to play innocent now. It ain't my fault. You know what I'm saying? I was just I was just speaking my mind, bro. Uh hold on. Ty Def had the evil smirk when he when she followed back. It's it's instinctual, bro. My mama told me, she said, you gotta start fixing your face. <laughs> my mom, my own mom said this. She said, you got to start fixing your face. Like, your face, tell it off. You know what I said? I said, I can't help it, bro. Let me be in a situation. I'm going to tell you something. My mom is a fucking gangster, bro. I, I'll tell you. I just posted that shit on Mother's Day, bro. My mom is a fucking gangster, bro. Oh, my God. I, I don't even want to get into it. I don't even want to get into this. I don't even want to get into it, bro. I don't even want to get into it, man. I do not want to get into it. 